So Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3 Wilds has only just begun on June 9th, and we've had a bevy of new weapons to try right off the bat. However, today is June 13th, and they've already added another new one. We've got a new assault rifle in the form of the MK Ultra, which seems to be a reworked version of the MK7 from Chapter 3. However, we're going to dive in and find out what that's about, but first, Fortnite, I've got some questions to ask. How did you find out that I'm a degenerate weeb, and why are you targeting me with your skins? You are attempting to turn me into a furry, aren't you, Fortnite? Epic. Hmm? <laughs> Guys, Fortnite has introduced a new skin called Kimiko Five Tails, and basically she is an anthropomorphic fox-type character, and it appeals to the idiot like me. <laughs> with that being said, I... I don't know necessarily if you would consider me a furry, but I don't have a persona, I don't have a fursuit, anything like that. But as a kid, I've always been into this kind of character. I started off as a huge fan of Star Fox. It was one of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo growing up. And I've played all the Star Fox games in the series, except for the Wii U one. I own the game, but I don't have a Wii U. I've never owned one of those. So I gotta get a hold of one of those someday. But I've enjoyed each and every one of those games, and that introduced me to that style of character. But then through Japanese media and again, my degenerate weebness, otakuness, whatever you want to call it, I have found other characters and other types of media that I've enjoyed, anime and manga and stuff like that. But Japan has introduced me to the Nekomimi type character and that's become a thing for me. And again, so Fortnite has introduced these types of characters throughout the series and they've appealed to somebody like me. I've enjoyed this. They're appealing to the furry community. And ultimately, I, I gotta give props to the furry community. They do a hell of a lot of good work when it comes to their fursuits and stuff like that. As a cosplayer myself, I've never done anything that difficult. Neither is my wife. It's kind of on the bucket list someday because realistically, I would like to try and do a Fox McCloud cosplay someday. And I feel like I would rather do it a full fursuit but in the long run, we've had characters throughout the Fortnite franchise that have either been some sort of a Nekomimi or a fursuit or a anthro furry type character like this in the past. We've had everything from Cuddle Team Leader to Bunny Wolf to Erisa to even John Llama himself. And, and then we've got more recent stuff like Meow Skulls, one of my favorites. We've had Erisa, another one of my favorites, but she's more of the Nekomimi type. And now we have Kimiko Five Tails, who could possibly, as far as the lore goes, be part of the Fox Clan, who includes characters like Drift, Stray, and Catalyst, and more. We don't know for sure yet, but that seems to be where they're leaning with this skin. Now, the interesting fact about this besides appealing to a degenerate weeb like myself. I keep using that term, but it's the truth. I guess I'm outing myself here with that fact. But I know I've said stuff like liking the cat girls before on my stream, so I, I guess that's not too bad. I guess you guys have already known that. <laughs> but the cool thing about her is not only do you have that, that neat style of character, they're playing into that media, that form, but there's a very reactive thing about her. So without further ado, let's jump into Fortnite. Let's take a look. I'll show you guys the skin and then let's see if we could find that weapon and give it a try. All right, so we've got the game up here and the first thing that we see here is an actual advertisement for Kimiko herself. And it does say an ancient fox spirit who watches over the fox clan. So that pretty much confirms it for me. But let's go ahead, I already bought the skin. So let's go ahead and go in and show you. I have her equipped as it is. Um, now, essentially, this is the character. Her back bling, the neat little, almost looks like the fish kite style, but it's, it's kind of robotic, as you can see. It's animated, very animated. And she has the tails. Uh, she comes with these claws as her harvesting tool. And the tails is actually a reactive thing. So you can equip it or not equip it. And basically, each tail will appear per elimination up to five eliminations. Now, as far as the media type of the tailed fox character, we're more used to seeing like the nine tailed fox, like in Naruto, as far as Kurama, or uh, what's the, the character in League of Legends? I think her name's Ari. She's more of the, the Nekomimi, but she's the nine tailed fox. Um, 
Apami might be another example, for, but I'm not positive on that, so don't hate on me on that. Actually, one of my favorite examples is Mega Man X Command Mission has a secret hidden boss called Ninetales that, yeah, it's a robot, but it's a nine-tailed fox dude that has nine separate stages to beat the entire boss. You have to keep progressing, and he's more difficult the further you go. But it's a really cool example. Now, they went with five tails here, and I'm assuming that's probably just because they want to go with a lower amount since this is reactive based on kills, they're not targeting the people that are getting 10, 15, 20 kills per game. They're more trying to target anybody who's interested in a reactive skin like this, anybody who's into this kind of character, but also they're trying to go probably more into the younger audience and, and people who maybe max out at five to seven, eight kills per game. And this way they have that chance to see this more often than not. Uh, somebody with more kills is going to get five, but, you know, if they would have went with nine tails, it would be more harder for those players, those, those level of players to be able to get that. So essentially, that's all there is to her. Oh, and there's the wrap as well. So the gun wrap, the Fox Clan protector is the wrap that comes with. But uh, that's pretty much it. There's nothing too crazy beyond that, but we're gonna try and get that reaction. And I'm assuming, based on Kayaku here, the Koi companion, I'm assuming, let's take a look. Nope, that one doesn't have an edit style, so there's nothing particular about that as far as edit, but it is an animated one. So if that's something you guys aren't into, the animated style back blings, this one might not be for you. Now, if you go into the item shop and you want to purchase her, you can purchase the item separate or you get the bundle itself at a discount. It is 2300 is regular, but I believe if you want to buy the bundle, uh, the discount, it's 1500 V-Bucks. So let's go ahead, let's jump in and let's try a game. Let's run her and see if we can find... Let's see if we can find that MK Ultra assault rifle. All right. Let's take a look. All right. We are loaded into the lobby. Actually, looks like I found the gun already. So I got 40 shots off the bat. Hmm. Relatively steady. Relatively steady. Now, this is just a common. Looks like 30 per clip, which I think was what the MK7 did. Uh, I don't remember for sure. Range-wise, let's see. Hi, Peely. Well, you can hit him. Pretty decent range. Let's, uh, we'll have to take a look and see what it does in the game. That's next. All righty. Let's drop in Mega. See if we can go to Mega City and uh, maybe have some luck finding one there. We'll see what it does. Seems like it might be a good mid to... Well, I would just say mid-range weapon overall. This is obviously... It, it, it seems very steady just from what we shot there in the lobby. But... I don't think it's going to be the greatest at long range. And being up close, obviously, I would much rather a shotgun or something like that. Or an SMG. All right, let's grab a shoddy here real quick. Pop this half. All right, we're ready to go hunting. Nothing there. Okay. See how they spawn. Ooh, better shoddy. shoddy and a half all right cool some full shield already okay give me one oh man you're giving me a legendary havoc making things difficult making things very difficult what is this Another Havoc. We definitely don't want this. I wonder if this if this gun stays in, if it will eventually replace the Havoc. We'll see. 
Now, I didn't look to see if it had like a... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, it did, I didn't look to see if it had a special like spawn point or anything, but... But obviously it doesn't if I could find it right here. Now, I definitely would like to try and find a better one than a common. Hmm. I hear some shots. There's an SMG. Let me take that. Let's go see how this thing works in an actual fight. Now, keep in mind, as terrible as I am, my luck is I'll die right away. Where are you? I hear you. Hi, Peely. Sorry, Peely. Hip fire's not bad on it. There's a better one. Sorry, Peely. I got gotcha. you. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. I do have to return my shield, which I'll do that real quick. Took me a few shots there, but some of my shots, uh, you guys know, my aim is not the greatest, so... That never helps. That never helps. Let's put this up front, because that's going to be my focal weapon here. Or is there a thing around here? An upgrade bench. So we got one kill. And as you guys can see, we got uh, one tail for that. As far as the Kimiko skin goes. Oh, I know I hear you. Where are you? Oh, now you're above. Weird. There we go. That's one of those. Okay. I'm good. Set up. Let's see if we can get a higher vantage point here. Let's see if we can find anybody else. I want to try this gun a little bit more. And if I can find an upgrade bench, I'll probably upgrade it to a higher level unless I come across a better version of the gun here soon. But we fought a Peely. As always, I don't like uh, killing my peelies. You know how much I love peely. Oop, I hear somebody. Wow, that felt really good at that distance. It definitely seems to be tailored towards more of a decent mid, between mid and long range. Not super, super long, but you could hit some steadier shots with it. They've also, they, they also seem to have a very, very high level of steadiness on the flapjack rifle, which... I'm just wondering if overall they're putting weapons like that in on purpose to kind of compensate that 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 steady feel as opposed to ones that that recently that seem to have had more of a pull more of a just just more of an in general a pull where it's it's dragging your weapon upward when you're shooting a recoil. This does have a level of recoil and the bullet spread it's there, it's not as bad as most. Heck, it, it feels like this, the uh, SMG, the combat SMG, has a higher level of spread to it. Or a higher level of recoil, sorry, than what the MK7 here has, or MK Ultra, I should say. Take high cards mythic. 
I don't really want the card. I don't want the vault. I just want to try and get to at least five kills with Kimiko here. Five kills. Upgrade my weapon. Which... There is a bench somewhere on the map here, but off the top of my head, I'm blanking on where it is located. There's another drum shoddy. Oh, you know what? I know where it is. It's in this fencing. Uh, maybe it isn't. It's in fencing like that somewhere. I'm pretty sure it is. Eh. If we don't find it, we'll upgrade along the way. Where's our circle currently? Okay, we're down towards the bottom. Is there an upgrade over here? Yes, there is. Never mind. There's one right in here. Yeah, it is in fencing. It's just over here, not where I thought. All right. Let's take it like that. Medium ammo acquired. All right, give me that. I think I'm fully ready to run the gamut here. Until I get killed, that is. Take a look over at the temple. Since that's at the edge. Ooh. Looks like we got some fighting over here. And there's another one. That's three. We got three kills. What do you got for me over here? Anything? Some ammo. Some of this stuff. Alright, let's check the pile he was after. Here, person he killed. Okay. Okay, and all right. We're at three, two more. Two more. Let's go back into the water. Went towards the other side of Mega City and maybe up and out towards the racetrack area. See if we can find anybody over there. And while we're at it, maybe top off our slurp, or shield, I should say. Oop, wrong way. Let's go out here. There's a chest over here. And no, something I already have, okay. Any shield, any slurp. Oh, there's uh, slap juice here. Let's use that. It's only one, but it's a little bit. And there's another one. Perfect. Full shield. All right, and away we go. No shots or anything on the radar. Gave me an Akira vibe right there. truck here. Oop, I hear some shots. Oh, 
Where were you? Seems to be a little bit steadier. No. DMR over there. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and go get some shield. We need shield. You can press over towards here or slappy. There's a slap truck over here. Let's hit that if we can. Alright, we got a little bit of shield that way. Alright, we'll head over towards Slappy, I guess, see if we can find anybody over here. Need one more to complete our quest. Ooh, and the slurp truck is here. Let me get that slurp truck. If I can. There we go. Now we're full up. Give me a bounty just in case. Hey you. Come with me. You could be my friend. Bounty was poached. Dang, okay. Well, that didn't take long. So much for that. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to go this way. We only got ten people left. Not a lot of chances for, uh... ...getting that final kill. We'll press on. Definitely couldn't hit them. Oh wow. Taking us back to where I was earlier. Nope. Where at? Where are you? You took shots at me. Took shots at me, where are you? Where at? I cannot see them at all. Oh, I see you. 
You're a distance. Good distance away. All right, we'll catch a grind rail. And rotate a little bit. Let's see if we can bring somebody in yet behind me. There's got to be people coming in this way. This person's trying to play high ground, which is a very, very smart move. I'll give that to them. Nope, not getting up that way. Let's go this way. Oh, man. Fifth place thanks to the cannon. So I didn't quite get that fifth tail. Let's go to lobby. So with that being said, we didn't quite get that fifth tail, but you know what? We had fun. We enjoyed. We got to see what the reaction was like as the tails would puff out each time we got an elimination. As far as the MK Ultra, fun little weapon, decent range to it. Not a crazy range, but again... I'm thinking in between mid and long range. It's not going to give you a full long range shot like a sniper rifle or maybe even a DMR would, but it's somewhere in between there and a mid range, which I would think like the Havoc suppressed or even possibly the Flapjack kind of stick to more of a mid range assault rifle or LMG type weapon. With that being said, I definitely like the feel of it. 30 shots per clip felt really good even as a common weapon. Bumping it up to legendary added some more oomph to it. You could see that. You could feel that. My shots are never the greatest. I have horrible aim as, a, as always. You guys know that. But I still have a good chance at getting some wins and stuff and getting some kills. But that match just didn't play out in my favor. It is what it is. But I had fun. Enjoyed it. Love my new skin. Thank you Fortnite again for appealing to the degenerate that I am, the weeb that I am, is what it is. Can't help it. That's it for this one, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching, for hanging out, and checking out my video. If you guys have played and checked out the MK Ultra, let me know what you think. If you guys bought the skin, let me know what you think. Leave a uh, note in the comments for me. I'll take time to read it and respond to you if I can. And to top it off, if you guys could, please, 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 please like the video and subscribe to my channel. It helped me to grow and to get you more full, more cool Fortnite content like this, if I can talk correctly. With that being said, that's it for this video, and we will see you guys in the next one.